Palmer's not here. I don't believe you. He went out, apparently, without telling anyone. No, you're lying to me. No, I'm not lying. I am disappointed. I was looking forward to seeing how he took your news. You don't want him to get my news. You're afraid it's going to get in the way of Daisy's little scheme to get him back. Daisy has him back. For all the good it's doing her in jail. And your pregnancy isn't going to do you much good. I don't believe that he's not here. I think he's right upstairs and you didn't tell him I was here. Then why don't you go upstairs and check? Unless you think the stairs would be too much for you in your condition. You are revolting. Why don't you come back in the morning? Good news is always so much better in the morning. I mean, if you could contain it till then. What is it you find so incredibly amusing about all of this? Private joke, sorry. You I are a private joke. This whole family is a private joke. Can you think how lucky you are to be rid of us? May I help you to the door? I'll be back tomorrow. I appreciate you coming with me, Phoebe. Oh, Palmer, I'm happy to do it. I am as convinced as you are that Daisy is absolutely innocent. Yes, well, I... The only problem is I don't hold out too much hope for success in our mission. I realize it's a very, well, it's a rather touchy situation, but Brad is not only a, a good friend and an old friend, but he's also proved himself to be a very just governor. That's absolutely true, but even so, the problem is that Daisy has been tried and convicted. Yes. And I'm afraid there's not too much that, that Brad can do to change that. Well, I just have to try, Phoebe. I can't sit idly by while Daisy is agonizing in that, in that jail. I understand, I know. Palmer, Palmer, oh, good to Brad. see you. Well, it's good to see you. <laughs> and Phoebe, how lovely you look. Oh, thank you. I'm dear. sorry to have kept you both oh, waiting. That's, that's all right. quite all right. We understand how busy you are. Oh, that's the truth. Uh, juggling my office load as well as putting on the armor for my Senate campaign next year. Yes, oh. right. I'm glad you chose to run, Brad. And of course, naturally, you can count on me for any support I can possibly give you. Oh, that's very generous of you, Palmer. I can use all the help I can get. <laughs> and I certainly intend to do my share as well. We couldn't possibly ask for a more worthy representative of our state. Well, I'm most grateful to both of you, and I certainly uh, couldn't refuse to uh, a meeting with uh, two of my most generous contributors. Oh, it is uh, an unusually late hour. Uh, now, what seems to be the urgency, Palmer? It's Daisy, Brad. Yes, yes, the Grayson case. I've been following that uh, very closely, and I am very sorry. I can imagine the anxiety you and your daughter are feeling over the outcome. Yes, well, she's innocent, Brad. There's not one shred of concrete evidence was brought into court. It was all circumstantial. Well, I assume your attorney's going to appeal. Oh, yes, there is an appeal pending. But meanwhile, Daisy is in that jail. I mean, it is a, it is a perfectly dreadful situation. Well, uh, once sentence has been passed... Yes, uh, yes, I, I do realize that. As a matter of fact, one of your appointees, uh, Judge Kramer, is going to hear Daisy's case. He's a good man. Yes, and he's a good friend of yours. I don't appoint good friends. I appoint the best person for the job. Well, yes, of course, I understand that. But, of course, if he has the same sense of justice that you have... I think you better I... stop right there, Palmer. Well, I was merely trying... I to... know what's coming, and I want to warn you right now. You'll be in serious trouble if you continue. Oh, well, I'm not that late, am I? Well, George said that you left for the evening. No, 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 no. I had every intention of returning. I just got hung up for a while. Drinking? 
Is that what you thought? Well, I don't know what else I was supposed to think. You leave for the night, you go running off your merry way. I was at an AA meeting. I'm very sorry I'm late, but a buddy of mine was in trouble, needed a little reinsurance, so I stayed and I talked with him and tried to build his courage the same as many people have done for me in the past. Now, what did you want to talk to me about? <laughs> okay, I've got a great idea. I am going to write a feature on sports in my next issue of Tempo Magazine. Oh. You know, all you gorgeous hunks the ladies go after. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm going to slab the article that way. Then I think it's going to be really appealing to the women, don't you? I mean, look, all of you ball players, you all have groupies following you around just like oh. the rock stars, well, don't you? Hundreds. I had to beat them off with a stick, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want from me? Okay, well, I, uh, I have jotted down some ideas, but since it's not my field, I thought maybe you could help me. See? Baseball, football, boxing. Mm hmm. You know, wrestling is very big right now. Of course it is. Of course it is. I should have thought of that myself. Mm -hmm. oh. Anything else? Well, I don't know exactly what it is you want me to do. Just give you suggestions or. Well, I want you to, to flesh out my ideas. You know, if you think anything there is, is a good idea. Naturally, I will give you an acknowledgement in the magazine. Oh, sure. I'll look it over and see what I can do. You want to see something? What? Laura's christening cup. Oh. Oh, Tom. Oh, that's beautiful. Laura Elizabeth. Hmm. Well, when is her christening? Tomorrow. Father Tierney's going to do it. Oh, really? Yeah. Wish I could be there. Well, you're invited. Oh, I have to be in New York. But I will certainly send something. Oh, you don't have to do that. That's no problem. Well, I want to. You must be very proud. Yeah, I am. I miss her, though, you know? It'd be nice if I could be a full-time daddy. Have a full-time family with Brooke and Laura. I know what you mean. I, I never did think much about family until Mike. At least you have a child. Erica. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I am. Um, I just, I just miss him so I much, Tom. <laughs> well, I wouldn't mind being there when Cynthia finds out that Palmer's sterile. She'll be lucky to get out of there alive. Alive. She could be pregnant, you know. I mean, you and I may not know how any man would want to look at her, but <laughs> there's Ross. Yeah, I thought of that, but I mean, um, well, Cynthia certainly knows enough to take precautions. Yeah, I think so. Of course, if she is pregnant, I mean, she's going to find out sooner or later. It's not Palmer's doing. Thanks for coming. It's, uh, gets a little depressing here. Nice to see you. You stop that because your appeal is going to come through, you hear? Yeah. I sure hope so. That's what you got to do. You got to hope, honey. I know. You bring a lot of light into this place, you know that? <laughs> and you're right. You're absolutely right. We've all worked much too hard and too long for this whole thing not to work out, right? It's right. <laughs> and it's going to work out because there is order in this world. And it's got to work out for all of us.